Look at my watch, look at my chain. They brand new. Look at the wheels on that thing. They brand new. All these shoes, all these clothes. They brand new. All this money, all these hoes. Seen this shit before because it's brand new. Ah, had to grind hard trying to make a living. Put on my city, now I'm eating like it's locked up in that cell division. What up? I'm popping rubber bands on you, fool. New. Ha, doing the getting money dance on you, fool. New. Ha, I'm tatted up, don't make me take my shirt off. You never seen this shit before because it's brand new. Brand new. Brand new. She don't like my ass. Before, because it's brand new. Bed just launched their new subscription service where you pay monthly to have access to tons of excellent licensed music. For instance, all the music that you hear from this episode is from their new service. It's pretty insane actually, but to celebrate, they sent us this giant shipping container filled with massive teddy bears. Why? Better question, why not? When we opened the container, the first thought in our head was obviously, we should drive six hours south and up these teddy bears. So we did. <laughs> to blow up teddy bears with a lot of things. <laughs> oh, no. drive tanks and we just finished our day shooting which you could probably tell by the sound of rain and the very very sunburnt face that I currently have but this place is as insane as the name suggests I did in fact drive a tank we shot a tank Josh used a flamethrower we blew up bears it, it was just absolutely insane you could see a lot of the stuff that they have here behind me they have a ton of historic stuff from like World War II 
all kinds of tanks and every kind of machinery you could possibly think of. It's just an amazing place, but we got a ton done today. Did it all for uh, the music bed project and in the nick of time. The last shot was during the rain, which you could see outside now. It's pretty much monsoon. So now we're even waiting for the rain to stop so we can clean up the mess that we've made with these bear guts all over these poor people's places. But now we're gonna talk to Josh here a little bit so we can find out a little bit more about drive tanks. So we're here with Riley from Drive Tanks and could you just take us a little bit through this place? Like what are you guys all about? So basically our biggest thing is preservation of history. So as you can see, we got plenty of armored vehicles, weapons, anti-tank guns, things like that. Most basically everything in here is live and we do everything we can to keep it that way. Kind of like our Pack 40 is the last fully operational one left in existence. There's only about 12 in recognizable condition. Same with our Sherman, last fully operational one left in existence. And we're currently the only ones in the world actually shooting the live big guns like this on the scale that we do. So it's it's fairly incredible. And I mean, that's our biggest goal is to just share history. And I mean, we're not biased or anything. We like to share both sides of history, the good stuff and the bad stuff. But yeah, that's our biggest thing is just keeping history alive and allowing people to experience it. We want everybody to come out and have their own unique experience, have a great time safely and everything else like that. So And anybody can come out and just drive the tanks and do all the shooting that we did. This was one, wasn't like a special thing. Anybody no. can come out. Anybody and do can come out and do it. Exactly. And so. you guys even have a place to stay, the barracks yes. on set that looked pretty amazing oh yeah so we do have the uh, barracks on site basically they're designed to look like really nice officers quarters from the 1940s so it's all thematic you got old pictures from world war ii medals they actually got old money they'd hand out to the u.s troops that they could actually use in france and stuff like that yeah. it's we go all the way with this so awesome. and the best place for people to find out more about all this is just drivetanks.com drivetanks.com the website awesome. so, and we also another thing uh, getting into the holidays and stuff like that we do sell gift cards which is oh, a great. big thing so i mean if you're looking for that special gift for somebody that's a hell of a gift card. Oh, yeah. Here's a tank. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, man. No Appreciate problem. It. Logo. Three, two, one. <laughs> to shoot all this madness, we had three cameras and the Maker Table boys. For the cameras, we had my C300 Mark II, an Alexa Mini, which the Maker Table fellas brought with them, and a Red Epic W Helium with a 30 to 300 millimeter Canon lens that we got from Lens Pro to go. Which, if you need to rent some gear, you can't do better than those guys. They are some of my favorite humans over there, so link in the notes for them. But what was great about having the red and the 300 millimeter lens is we could shoot in 2K and crop in on the sensor, which we had to do to get those higher speeds for slow motion anyway. But since it was cropping in on the sensor, the upside we got was it essentially turned a 300 millimeter lens into an 800 millimeter lens, maybe even higher, which was massively helpful since with a lot of these shots like the tank and the mini gun, we couldn't get very close to the bears at all for safety so having that higher telephoto capability made it possible to get these tighter shots we also had to get some nds from lens pro to go for the red since unlike the alexa and the c300 mark ii the red doesn't have any internal nds but at the range we shot an m5 an aa12 automatic shotgun a mini gun a flamethrower set off a grenade a gas bomb and you know a tank driving that thing was just crazy it's a lot smaller inside than you'd expect and firing it was even more crazy. You could really feel the impact from the blowback when it went off. And you could see in the clip that the round hits the ground right in front of the bears, then bounces up and tears through the bears and both vehicles before slamming into the berm. It's just crazy. But once we had all that insanity filmed and in the edit, finding the right song was key for an edit like this. It's all driven by music, which of course, for this, like I said earlier, we are using all music bed music for this, using their new subscription, which this is really great for anyone on YouTube. Their plans start at $10 a month. So if you make videos for YouTube, you get the subscription service from Musicbed and for $10 a month, you get unlimited songs for your projects. You can of course monetize your videos while still using this and have that music bed quality and they have some of the best stuff out there, all kinds of styles. And it's all easy to navigate too, very well curated stuff. But I'm gonna do a deep dive on this on Monday so we won't go into too much detail here. But the best thing about it is the tech that they now have in place to clear the music very quickly if it ever gets flagged. But again, Monday. But that's it, a massive thank you to Musicbed and Drive Tanks for letting us have some random and insane fun. Check the notes below for links to their websites and all their awesome stuff and links to Lens Pro to go for any gear rentals you need. And I'll see you next time when Brad Pitt and I try to have a nice meal but Shia LaBeouf and friends are in Look at my watch, look at my chain. They brand new. They brand look new. at the wheels on that thing. They brand new. They brand new. All these shoes, all these clothes. They brand new. They brand new.
All this money, all these hoes They brand new Brand new Brand new She don't like my attitude She said it's brand new Brand new Brand new You never seen this shit before Because it's brand new Had to grind hard Trying to make a living Put on my city Now I'm eating like it's Thanksgiving It's all lies on me For like a television Shout out to all my new Locked up in that cell division What up? I'm popping rubber bands on you fool new <laughs> Doing a getting money dance on you fool new <laughs> I'm tatted up, don't make me take my shirt off Girl. I said I'm tatted up, don't make me take my shirt off